How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. Friend Wade and Toe, Dr. Act 1 on YouTube. Check him out. Makes awesome music stuff. Anyway, we are drinking beer today. We're going to do some reviews. We just banged out a McKellar Barley Wine, and we are moving on to BrewDog Paradox Jura. Never had this before. Never seen it before. No. Nope. Doesn't get distributed in my area, so you know anything about it? I know I've seen it on the shelf, and I grabbed it. That's, That's what we know. All. That's all we need to know. <laughs> it um, looks pretty good. As far as what it says on the bottle, um, BrewDog Paradox Jura, 15% alcohol. That doesn't suck. No. Um, malt beverage, aged in Scotch whiskey barrels. Single malt beverage. <laughs> uh, it's an imperial stout from what I read. Uh, over here it says government warning stuff. I hate this best before shit. Best before 27 or 22? 22. 8, 22. Like... Yeah, they're giving it seven year shelf life. Yeah, it's probably years. got a 20, 30 year shelf life. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, over here we got a little bit of a story. It says the life and times of a brew dog whiskey cask. Ooh, a story. Um, a little acorn in a mighty oak tree, really long ago. That's number one. Number two, oak tree turned into a cask by a skilled human. Three, cask then used to mature American bourbon, release and wonderful flavors from oak. Four, cask then undertakes a Peri um, perilous marine voyage across the Atlantic, narrowly escaping the clutches of storms, giant squid, and pirates. Uh, <laughs> five. <laughs> Safely at the Scottish distillery, it is used to mature the finest whiskey, adding depth and character to the flavors, including in the oak. In oh. In, in what even is that word? Not included. Inclinated? Inclinated. Inclinated. Yeah. Anyway, in the oak. Uh, six. Cast arrives at Brewdog where we will fill it with Imperial Stout. The aging process infuses whiskey flavors and, and um, blazons. The cast journey deep into our smooth, robust stout, resulting in a rival taste adventure for luckily for the lucky human who gets their paws on this finished masterpiece. Well, let's see if it's a masterpiece or if it's a piece of crap. Oh, it's imported by Anchor. Anchor. That's kind of weird. Anchor. Really. You know, yeah. Anchor. Anchor Steam, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. One of the um, original fucking what's, Scotch whiskey barrel aged beers are kind of a hit or miss for me. Me too. Like the old dubs are cool, but... JWs I had, I don't like that. not so know. much, right? Yeah. But that was a PD Loblin. Yeah, Loblin cask. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I had, a, what, I had an old dub 12 the other day. It was pretty good. But it was also like four years old, so it was, you know. They're good. Which one do you like out of uh, old dubs? 30, of course. Yeah. Did you mm -hmm. ever have the 40? No. No. I might have. I might. I don't know. If I think it, we have. I know. I got the twelve. I got the eighteen. I got a sixteen. I got a thirty. I might have had the forty. I, I, yeah. Maybe not. Then we I had the ninety-one too, right? Yeah. The ninety-one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. If yeah. I had a rat, every one that, that pops up at my guys, yeah, it's I grab it. Right there. So yeah, we definitely had the ninety-one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, it's, so it's like weird hit or miss thing with the Scotch cast stuff. But we'll see what's going on. Uh, Late wise, it's cool. It's just black on gold. Black and gold. Simple to the oh, point. Yeah. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Khalifa like this beer? Mm. <laughs> After he's done making those dirty movies. <laughs> he's in the news. Who's Where's that? Khalifa? He's like a young hip-hop guy. He made some dirty movie with some Ooh. lady. And they were going to produce it, but then they didn't put it out. I don't know. That's what TMZ said. Like a porno? Yeah. Mm -hmm. a, a porno. A pornographic mature video. It's not, it's not bottle condition. No. Yeah. So it is what it is. Oh, that smells like some dirty ass toilet. <laughs> that's a good thing, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it does. Head, it had probably had, what, about a finger full of head. And now it's probably half that fingers smells worth. That roasty. Um, you know, a little bit darker than beige head. Creamy top. And that's dark. I mean... It wasn't super dark when I poured it. You can actually see through it. Uh, Lighting-wise, there's just... It's, you, 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 you can't see through that. You probably can't see through it, but you can see it around the edges. You can see it's glowing more like a, a, a brownish instead of like a reddish color. Nose? It reminds me of Angel Share. This year's Angel Share is good, though, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just smells... You don't get a ton of scotch, but I'm getting oak, and I'm getting that... I'm getting campfire. campfire. I'm getting that roasted malts, uh, you know what I mean? Roasted malts. I'm getting the next morning after you put the campfire out. That smell of that burnt, wet wood. And, uh, just a ton of sweetness. It smells sweet as, <sighs> sweet as nuts. Because nuts are sweet. Yeah, my nuts. Sweetness, roasted malts. <laughs> these nuts. Um, you like these nuts? A little bit of oakiness, but not a ton of scotch. 
Oh, yeah, kind of weird. Let's get in there and see what she's all about. Cheers. It's not gonna be no John Courage. That's scary, drinkable man. That smooth as for a fifteen percent beer, dude. Oh yeah. First thing, smooth, super dry oak finish, like a ton of oak tannin in it. Like I get a ton of oakiness in it. Lots of wood. Lots of burnt wood, like charred wood. Yeah, it's like oak barrel out the wazoo to the point where it's like almost drying. Um, I'm a fan of it. It kind of works. Chocolatey, a little bit coffee taste, a little bit roasted burnt coffee, like espresso style. Yeah, you can get you get the barrel age in here, but not a ton of whiskey at all. Like it's kind of weird. They're like, oh, this is a whiskey barrel. To me, I mean, it's there. It's so so subtle. You can just call it like an oak age beer as opposed to be a whiskey age, uh, Scotch whiskey age beer. It's good. S scary drinkable. Like it's scary, scary, scary beer. I think. For 15%? I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd put this up against the new, well, the new last four-year Courages. It's different, though. It's different, but... Yeah, way different. It, it, and they're, they're, they hold their own in their same exact categories. Like, it's equal. The mouth feels a little bit weak. Like, it's, like, kind of thin. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of aftertaste there. Like, little nuances of this or that. Like, this, like the char. Also, like... Really sweet, a little bit of roast malts, more in the nose and in the mouth, and just that tiniest, a little bit of, for me, just a little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate, and just a little bit, and then it's just an oak explosion in your mouth, which is good. And you're better in your mouth than on your face, you know? I so, get a lot of sweetness, though. It is super sweet. There's some sweetness in there, which is good, because it balances out some of that roughness and that, that char and the smoke. Yeah. Because there is a smoke smoke essence about this. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like... the And that's the thing. Scotland. See, they... Yeah, it's from... Uh, that's where those guys are from. Right? And that's the thing. Like, they say... And this is the kind of... Not an issue. But when they say, Oh, we age it in Scotch whiskey barrels. I want to know what barrel. What we could probably be getting <laughs> is just that peat mossiness. They might have aged it in like a... In a in an Isle or Islay Scotch. Or a Lowland. Who knows? Do you know what I mean? Like, so that... It might not be uh, like a smokiness as opposed to more like a peat mossiness. And that's why that's where it's coming from, um, Scotch whiskey barrel wise. Opposed so maybe to this actually... Imperial Russian stout just over, over smashed the, the taste of the peat. You yeah. never know. Yeah. Could over, overwhelmingly be that. But in the grand scheme of things, this is a really good freaking beer. I can tell you that much. It's pretty good, yeah. You know what? Here's the thing, though. It says here, um, Isle of Jora. That might be the actual, Maybe. like, where the barrel comes from, which would be Paradox Jora. So, I've never heard of Jora whiskey. Me so, neither. I'll look it up after uh, after all this is said and done, but that's probably what's going on. Anyway, rating-wise, um, if I was going to rate it, I'd probably give it, like, a, I'd give it, like, a 92. Stout-wise? Just barrel eight stout-wise. It's, it's good. It, it's yeah, good. I'd, it's, I'd give it up there in 92. I'd say 92 to 94. Only because not many stouts have been like, especially Russian Imperials are like, they fall, they slack a lot these lately, you know? Like, yeah. I, this is, I thought it was going to be good, and it is good. This is going to be a, a, a all day sipper. Yeah. This is not a sit down and drink quick beer. No. This is, uh, and uh, I think this would age pretty mm -hmm. badass. Oh, yeah. You know? Like they're giving you like a, what, an eight year? I mean, who knows? They say the 20 year. 2022, it's 2014, barely, no, almost 15. So there's, you're giving you an eight year window. Uh, it could have also be two years old by now. Yeah, all we know. Well, I don't know. I just chances are they're giving it a t ten year shelf life. I'm guessing it's two years old at this point. But I give it like a yeah, like I said, like a 92 overall. Um, and then value availability thing. Uh, he brought it up. I can't get it. All that stuff out the window. I'm not gonna rate all that stuff. But yeah, really nice beer. I mean, if you like imperial stouts. Um, this is one to try. And you like barrel aged stuff, but you're, you're a big oak fan. You're not so much like some barrel aged stouts tend to be more boozy, like whether it be like a bourbon barrel or rum barrel when they're rum or the bourbon's kind of like in your face. This is more for me. This is subtle. Like more oaky in your face. You know? As opposed to the barrel start of the show, not what was ate, not what was in the barrel previously. I mean, if you're into good beer in general, you're going to give it a whirl. Yeah. yeah. 
You know, these guys usually never impress me. I've tried a couple of their beers, the, the Brew Dogs. This is actually a really decent beer. This, and I'm quick to pour it down the drain. But this is actually, I'll, I'll finish this beer. This is a good beer. Yeah, if they, um, if they could just somehow... It's a little high on the price, but it's a good beer. What did you pay for it? 15 bucks 15? for one. Yeah. Yeah, so 15 bucks. I mean, that's not too good for when you're talking about 12 ounce beer, but or 11.2. But if you're going to split with a friend, you only look yeah. at 750. Oh, and yeah. then you, you know, you chase it with something else like we'll do after this. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Another 15%. <laughs> or more. I don't know. I don't know which one we go with. Yeah, well, fifteen percent, seventeen percent. Who knows? What yeah. else? It's the other, uh, other, other dude claw. Uh, I don't know what that barley wine is. I think that's like a twelve percent or maybe uh, session beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So there you go. Another review in the books. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did or didn't, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Pick that up. If you yeah, get it. It's good. Um, if you'd like to check us out on the internet, you can check Wade out on YouTube at Doctor Octave One. Um, he does the awesome music stuff, modular synth stuff, so check that out. If you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet besides YouTube. You can Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Massive Beers and all three of those places. And uh, yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you're enjoying dank beer right now, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers, cheers to you. See you in two and two. <laughs> Chuck Willery. <laughs> <laughs>